What's up? In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Destin, so stay tuned. What's up, everybody? My name is Garrett O'Leary. I'm with the O'Leary Brothers team here at Lead Realty. In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Destin and what makes it great, and also some of the things that nobody particularly likes about it. We'll start with the cons. So con number one is the traffic. Now, because of the way the geography sets up where Destin is, it kind of makes it hard to maneuver around traffic. There's usually, there's one major road called 98, and it does get crowded, especially during the summer times, and since there's a huge military base here. So if you're in the commuting times, you'll probably get stuck in traffic, and especially if you're in summer, you can get held up for hours. And what makes it worse is if there is an accident, then it's just backed up for what seems like days. Con number two is the tourist prices. Now again, Destin is known for having some beautiful beaches and a ton of entertainment. So you do have to kind of pay for what you're getting here. Unfortunately, it's sometimes a bit higher than what you'd pay elsewhere, but being that you are in paradise, it might be considered worth it, but you are gonna feel it in your pocket. Con number three is public access to beaches. Now, there's a lot of resorts and destinations here, and a lot of them do have rights to the beaches right behind, or I guess maybe in front of their resorts. So sometimes you can't lay up and you know put a chair down and hang out right then and there, but it does make it a little bit more complicated if you're trying to get access to a public beach. Now, there are a lot of areas where you can get onto the beach. You do have to drive to a lot of them. So if you're in Destin, you might need to make a short trip uh, to other areas, but it's still worth it because you still get the white sand, you get the warm water, and the beautiful views. Con number four is the humidity. And again, if you see my previous video, I'm a Californian and the humidity actually kills me, I swear. Uh, I'm still not used to it. I don't like the idea of stepping out of my uh, house and it's just be drenched in sweat. So it's something you do have to get used to. It's something I still haven't gotten used to. I'm almost here for two years now. So it's something you will uh, experience and you'll realize the true <laughs> bearing of what humidity does to you. And lastly, number five, and that's the housing prices. If you are moving to Destin, Destin is known for being a little bit higher on that price range. You can still find some really affordable places. Uh, it might not have everything you're looking for. You might need to remodel, but it tends to be a little bit higher in the price range. Uh, if I remember correctly, the last time, the average house price in Destin is gonna be around 500 to $600,000. So you do have to have that and ready to spend. All right, now let's move on to the pros. Uh, pro number one, the beaches. The beaches are incredible here. Really, you haven't experienced pure white sand beaches and warm water until you've been to Destin. They've got some of the best and most entertaining beaches. It's just incredible experience. So at least once in your life, you do have to come to Destin and plop your, your butt in the sand and experience it. Pro number two is entertainment. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here in Destin. It is a tourist destination, so it's really built around that. Uh, the Harbor Walk in Destin has a lot of bars and restaurants. You can kind of walk around, go bar hopping, hang out with friends and family. It's a ton of fun. You can try seafood, American food, different types of culture, like cultural food. I mean, we have a lot of Thai restaurants here. My personal favorite, there's a, there's a German restaurant in uh, actually across the, the bay in Fort Walton, but kind of close. So you can really experience just about any type of food uh, if you're in the area. And pro number three is Crab Island. Now, Crab Island is probably what makes Destin famous. If you're not familiar with Crab Island, it's basically a sandbar, sandbar that sits about two to three feet underwater just inside the bay. So you're not experiencing all the waves and the crashing waves from, you know, in the Gulf. But everybody kind of comes out there in their pontoons and some in super yachts. I mean, you really meet everybody there. And they anchor down, they get out of their boats and walk around, socialize and party it up while they're there. It's a ton of fun. Uh, I really can't ex you know, recommend it enough to at least, if you're here, go out to Crab Island, rent a boat, rent a jet ski, whatever it takes, get out to Crab Island because it is so much fun. Pro number four is nightlife. Now, kind of like going on with my, the previous pro where it was there's a lot of things to do and entertainment wise, nightlife here is awesome too. There's a lot of bars that you can jump into that stay up, you know, one, two a.m. at night and you really just have fun with friends and family and there's lots of uh, beverages, if you know what I mean, that are being sold there so you have a ton of fun, hang out with your friends, uh, really go to different clubs, things like that. Destin has it for you. And pro number five is the Harbor Walk. And now I did mention it already, the Harbor Walk has everything you really imagine. It's got all the entertainment, it's got all the bars and restaurants. You really can't go wrong by going to the Harbor Walk. Uh, everything they have is built towards having fun. So you really won't be disappointed. There's one something for everybody there, whether you're just there as a tourist or as a resident, restaurants, bars, uh, shopping, everything. So if you need to go anywhere, head to the Harbor Walk. And that wraps up the pros and cons of Destin, Florida. If you have any questions or have anything or think we missed anything, leave them in the comments below. And if you are considering moving to the Destin, Fort Walton Beach area, get in contact with us. I'll leave my contact information right here. You can give us a call, send us a text or shoot us an email and we'll reach out to you as soon as we can. 
I'll see you in the next one, y'all.